pleasant good morning to everyone tuning in out there this morning i come to share a dream that i got early this morning on february 13 2024 so i'm asking each and every one of you to listen attentively so in the dream I was traveling with some friends and I realized that people were missing and it wasn't me alone that noticed what was going on I heard people saying oh I was walking with this individual and the person disappeared I could no longer find the purse I don't know what's happening and then someone said it looks like the rupture has taken place so when they mentioned the word um, rupture it's like everyone's eyes became open and everyone was looking into themselves and saying well if the rapture has taken place it means that we miss heaven so we're doomed and so all of us we were worried and then all of a sudden we saw some men approaching us and in the dream they appeared to be angels they were humans dressed in human clothes but they're they're representing angels and so they came to us and was leading us in a particular direction and while we were following in the direction that they were leading us we came at a particular place where it was filled with fire but some of the fire that we were seeing in that I was seeing in the dream it wasn't a huge fire and so they were saying to us that we must go in the fire one by one fear came upon me and I was the first one who decided to go in the fire so while I was about to go in the fire I heard a voice said to me the voice of God did not sound neither did the trumpet of God so this is not real and so immediately I started declaring those words I started um, preaching those words I saying if this is the rapture then how is it that we did not hear the trumpet of God because if the rapture had taken place, everyone would have heard the voice of God and, and hear of the trumpet of God. So when I started saying those words, those men who claimed that they were angels, they it's like they lost power and lost control over me and the other people. They started stepping backward because the truth came out. So they started... Um, stepping backward and they no longer could throw any one of us into that fire and I found myself walking away from the fire because when I look at it I said this is not hell this is not hell fire it doesn't look like hell fire this is a great deception and so I I managed to um get up out of the dream you know I just want to say this to us this morning to read the word of God to study it for yourself because there's a lying spirit that is going out and there's a there's a great spirit of deception that is going out to deceive the church do not believe everything you see do not believe everything you hear because there is a lying spirit and a spirit of deception that has been sent out from hell to deceive many people. And I want us to keep our bodies pure because the rapture is real and the coming of the Lord is real. So I want to encourage every believer, keep yourself pure. Walk in holiness. Repent. 
each and every day, every time you pray, r- repeat a word of prayer. Repeat a repentance prayer, sorry. Every time you kneel before God, make sure that you repent. Because we sin when we think it not. You may not be committing fornication, but if you're a liar or a backbiter, you need to repent. You may not be committing murder, but if you are, hallelujah, glory to God. If you are a deceiver, you need to repent. So when you go before God, repent this morning. I speak to myself too. When we go before God, let us repent. Let us clean up our soul, people of God. Because the coming of God is, is certain. The coming of God is sure. We don't know when God is going to put in his appearance. And we don't have to know when. Because he said he will come again. So we don't have to know when. We just need to live each day ready and prepare to meet our Savior. Glory to God. And let me read the scripture to us in First Thessalonians. So that... You guys can understand where I'm coming from. 1 Thessalonians chapter 4, verse 14, it says, For if we believe that Jesus died and rose again, even so them also which sleep in Jesus will God bring with him. For this we say unto you by the word of the Lord, that we which are alive and remain unto the coming of the Lord shall not prevent them which are asleep. Verse 16, it says, For the Lord himself shall descend from heaven with a shout, with the voice of the archangel, and with the trump of God, and the dead in Christ shall arise first. Then we which are alive and remain shall be caught up together, and with them in the clouds to meet the Lord in the ear. And so shall we ever be with the Lord. So people of God, people of God, I want to say this to us today. Let us read God's word for ourselves. Let us know God for ourselves. Let us develop a personal relationship with God for ourselves. Don't believe everything a prophet come on the ear and say. Don't believe everything a pastor come to you and say. Learn to read the word of God and study it for yourself and allow the Holy Spirit to teach you and build a relationship with God some of us as believers we only have a relationship with our pastors but we don't have a relationship with Christ we don't have a relationship with the Lord so I want to implore us I want to beseech us today let us live right in the sight of God and let us develop that intimate that personal relationship with God before it is too late so i hope that what i share today helps somebody and if you are listening to me and you're not saved if you're a backslider as well i want to encourage you to come back to christ i want to encourage you to give your life back to christ because the coming of god is sure and if you miss heaven you're not going to miss hell if you miss heaven you're not going to miss hell so say yes to Jesus now before it is too late.